Prince George's inherent disparity to Charlotte and Louis to become horribly known. Prince George's inherent disparity to younger siblings Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will become horribly known in the coming years, royal expert Daniela Elser claimed in a throwback comment piece. The Queen celebrates her 96th birthday next week, while her official birthday will be observed in June, a milestone that adds to an already long list of events in the year she marks her platinum jubilee. Bunting and commemorative spoons will be laid across dinner tables all over Britain in June as the country enjoys a four-day bank holiday weekend, with Trooping the Colour, a Platinum Jubilee pageant, and the Epsom Derby all part of a hectic weekend. While the Queen has broken all kinds of new ground during her time on the throne, one issue remains, that of the so-called spare. Princess Margaret was reported to have struggled with the spare status, and more recently Prince Andrew and Prince Harry. This is where Kate, Duchess of Cambridge comes in, wrote royal expert Daniela Elser in a comment piece for News.com. last year. Kate is the mother of not one, but two spares in Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, according to M's Elser. She wrote that a lifetime of reigning and Parliament opening awaits young Prince George, now eight years old. She said, he will get to be handy with a sword for the odd spot of knighting and faces decade upon decade of having to endure weekly audiences with the Prime Minister of the day. The opposite is true for Charlotte and George. While as children, as it was for William and Harry when they were tiny royal mites, all three of the Cambridge kids are being raised equally, the inherent disparity between George and his siblings will make itself horribly known in the years to come. It is inevitable, sad and inevitable. M. Zelser claimed that Princess Anne is the only second-born child to a monarch since Queen Victoria's reign that has in any way made a good go of it. She wrote, Princess Anne, has approached her nebulous position with a certain stoic resignation and the knowledge she can get back to her beloved horse is the minute all the handshaking and plaque unveiling palaver is over. But the Princess Royal is a serious outlier and a considerable exception if one is to take a gander at the history of the House of Windsor. Finding a solution to the spare conundrum falls to William and Kate, who are already promising to do things the Cambridge way. Ultimately, Charlotte and Louis face a rather different future to royals of years gone by. Now that Harry has stepped aside as a senior working royal, the Cambridge Three will be growing up into a slimline monarchy. M. Zelser said, the reality that the Cambridges face will be markedly different. By the time they are all grown up and ready to charm a rope line, George, Charlotte and Louis will be the only working HRHs under the age of 50 years old. They will be lumped with the entire responsibility of making the monarchy in any way seem relevant to younger Britons, and whoever is left in the Commonwealth, and with injecting a spot of youthful verve into the whole monarchical endeavour. While George will, of course, one day be king. Charlotte and Louis will almost certainly have very prominent, senior roles within the royal family too. Dr. Alison McClemont, a leading child psychologist, told Express.co.uk recently that George and Charlotte will have formed a very special bond, something that will only help them further down the line. She said, theirs is a unique existence. Very few people can relate to that level of scrutiny or responsibility, so the fact that they get to do this together and to share the burden and the joy of the role is key. They will have a bond that could be understood by very few others, and also a private intimacy that is probably rarely seen outside of their public roles. William and Kate have sought to find the perfect mix for their children, balancing as normal a childhood as possible with a looming life in the public spotlight. William has always maintained that he wishes for his children to have the stable family home that he and his brother did not have. Speaking to GQ in 2017, he said, Stability at home is so important to me. I want to bring up my children in a happy, stable, secure world, and that is so important to both of us as parents. He too realizes that his children cannot be entirely shielded behind royal walls. He added, George has to be out there. I will fight for them to have a normal life.
he and his brother did not have. Speaking to GQ in 2017, he said, Stability at home is so important to me. I want to bring up my children in a happy, stable, secure world, and that is so important to both of us as parents. He too realizes that his children cannot be entirely shielded behind royal walls. He added, George, has to be out there. I will fight for them to have a normal life.